Hello and welcome to Torsey Wardrous Kitchen Gardener. This is the month where everything really kickstarts for the growing season. So here are some of the seeds that you can be sowing direct into the soil or crops that you can be planting out. So today I'm going to be planting out my sweet peas. This is a giant Spencer's variety. I've got another variety of sweet peas that I'm putting over the other side of the plot. I've got a net that I've put over my framework that just gives it something to cling to and climb up because I don't have the time to be tying it in every five minutes. Also as well, if you are planting in March your sweet peas, make sure that you've hardened them off. So for the last week I've just been hardening them off to the weather so they should be all right to keep them in the ground now. If you are in a colder part of England, I would recommend maybe holding off until April. If you are really concerned about the frost maybe hitting them, just wrap a bit of fleece around them and that should suffice. I've now got my first lot of sweet peas in the ground. I have tied them up with a little bit of twine just to get them going up the net. I'm now going to water them and just wait for that first harvest. So this is what I absolutely love about vegetable gardening. I put this cloche over the rhubarb, I've got quite a few of them and this is just one of them but as you can see the, pop of the top has started to pop off and under here if I remove the cloche you've got these beautiful forced sweet tender stalks of rhubarb. All I'm going to do now is harvest these. Harvesting rhubarb you should never actually cut the stalk, you should always try and just pull it really really carefully from the base of the plant. So all I'm going to do now is harvest the whole lot of this, put the cloche back on the top and then I'll get another harvest later on. I was going to do a video of me planting out my first early Charlotte potato variety but unfortunately my camera ran out of battery so I'm just going to do a quick one for you guys. So I did my trenches, I'm planting on mass, I understand not everybody will be planting as many potatoes as what I have but if you are planting your potatoes in beds now's the perfect time to get your first early or your salad potatoes in the ground. So all I did was obviously I did a trench like I normally do to get my nice straight lines. I've obviously spaced my potatoes out at 30 centimetres apart and then just covered the tubers back over. Between rows I do 45 centimetres so you've got enough room to get in and mound up once the first bit of growth has started. This is one of my brassica beds and in this spot here I've got cauliflowers that I planted previous to Christmas but inevitably due to slugs the weather they don't all make it so it's always good to sow another crop which is what I've done. I sowed these in the at the beginning of January, I've potted them on, they're a nice substantial plant so I'm just going to get in this bed today, weed it, plant these where the other cauliflowers didn't make it and also as well, just to utilise that space, I'm going to plant kualarabi. Because cauliflowers are, are normally planted two, two and a half foot apart, it's quite a lot of bare ground. So it's always good to put a shorter cropping vegetable in between. So kualarabi is going to be in between the cauliflowers. So I'm now planting my broad beans direct into the soil for the month of March. As you can see, I've done trenches. The only reason that I've done trenches is because it's easier to do that for me just because I'm planting on such mass. So I just do nice deep trenches that are at least four to six inches deep. It makes it easier instead of digging each individual hole. But obviously if you at home are working on a smaller scale, then just dig a hole four to six inches deep, plop your seed in and away you go. It's really important to understand when you're sowing seeds direct into the soil or even if you're sowing into trays and modules that you need to have that seed soil contact. It's really important for really good germination and for root growth. So as you saw there I just walked over the trenches that I dug 
that's obviously because if I'd have just done it by hand, I would have pushed it down, whereas I've just trodden that in. That doesn't apply for everything, but because that's quite a big seed that's gone into the ground, that's the reason I've done it. But when I sow carrots, I will just literally rake the soil back over the top and just make sure that that soil is sitting on top of the seeds nicely. 